We're having a look at uh, Physics GCE A2 level from Edexcel and uh, the 2014 June paper and in particular we're looking at uh, question 14 which is on particle physics. Okay. Question 14, the photograph is an image of uh, the paths of particles obtained from an early particle detector called the cloud chamber. Modern particle detectors such as those in CERN still work on the same basic principle that charged particles cause ionization of the material through which they pass. These ionizations can be tracked and recorded. Magnetic fields are used to deflect the particles so that their properties can be investigated. So state what is meant by ionization in this context. Remember ionization is when something happens to an atom and it becomes an ion. So that's either the gain or loss of um, electrons. So I'm saying that an atom is caused to either gain or lose at least one electron. Part B then, the diagram shows the ionization path of a particle when it is in the region of a uniform magnetic field. The particle enters the field at X and we've got uniform magnetic field here into the page. State how we know that the particle is negatively charged. Okay, so we've got motion in this direction. We've got magnetic field in this direction. And this is Fleming's left-hand rule. Now we know that the force on the particle to make because of the rules of centripetal force, the force on the particle has to be towards the center of the circle. So we've got a left-hand rule where we've got our thumb pointing in to the middle. That's the force on the particle. We've got our field first finger pointing straight down. And when I get my first finger pointing straight down and my uh, thumb pointing in towards the right here, I find that my current finger which I'm going to put in in black is pointing that way. Now if current is pointing that way according to the left hand rule that means that what is traveling in this direction must be a negative. Remember that electrons and current flow are opposites. The flow of, flow of electrons in a wire um, is opposite to current. So when we're looking at the movement of individual uh, charged particles if the charged particle is moving the opposite way to current, it must be negative. And that's what you need to be explaining here. So Fleming's left-hand rule gives us that the particle must be negative because we've got a current pointing against the motion of the particle and that only happens if the particle is negative. So you need to explain that you would use Fleming's left-hand rule. You get a current direction pointing against the motion of the particle that tells us it's a negative particle. Part C, the diagram below shows an event occurring in the same magnetic field. So again we've got uniform magnetic field into the page. So this point Z is where a high energy photon interaction occurs which causes two particles to be formed. So this is obviously some kind of pair production here. Um, describe with reasons what can be deduced about the photon and the two particles that are formed in the interaction. So, firstly, we can't see the photon that made these particles. We can't see that. So the photon, you need to say something about the photon not having a charge and therefore not being capable of making a track. But the two particles definitely do make a track, so we need to say that the two particles are ionizing, um, so they must have a charge. Secondly, the fact that they curve in opposite directions tell us that they're oppositely charged and that makes sense because the photon is an uncharged object and that should be mentioned it should give rise when it decays to to oppositely charged objects so that the conservation of charge applies that we had no charge before and we have a total of no charge at the end we can also add uh, directions to these and think about the way 
the forces are according to the left hand rule. So we've got magnetic field going this way. So our field finger points straight at the page. We need our, our thumb to point towards the center of these curves and that tells us that the upper one here is positive and the lower one here is negative. So we can identify the charges of the two objects based on Fleming's left hand rule. We can also see that there is a symmetry in the curvatures here which tells us that these particles come out with the same momentum because the momentum uh, relates directly and is proportional to the radius of the curvature produced. So because these come out symmetrically uh, we can say they have the same momentum. And there was a net momentum here heading to the right and you know that tells us that the photon was heading to the right because the particles have momentum to the right afterwards. So there's actually quite a lot in this question that you need to mention. Um, the ionization of the charged particles versus the photon which can't ionize. The uh, fact that opposites are produced which is why we get opposite curves. The curves are symmetrical so we have the same momentum in both particle uh, and the fact that there was momentum to the right. So there's a lot going on in this question. Okay that's it then. Thanks for watching.